Welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today let's take a look at a 2007 Mercedes-Benz GL450. Under the hood of the GL450, you're going to find Mercedes-Benz's 4.7 liter V8. Now, that doesn't sound like the largest displacement for a V8 engine, but in this tune, it makes 335 horsepower. That V8 is routed to a seven-speed automatic transmission that's in turn routed to all four wheels. Uh, very, very smooth, very powerful on acceleration. Uh, very cushy ride, but probably the most comfortable uh, seven-passenger sport utility that I know of. Uh, let's walk around it because it's in exceptional condition. Let's take a look. Just to indicate uh, the quality of this car, I mean, the exterior is absolutely exceptional. There is a very, very light stone chip. You really probably won't even be able to see it here in our high definition video, but uh, light stone chip right here uh, under the headlamp. But uh, looking across the front, I mean, you get the front park sensors there. Uh, on the lower part of the bumper, you really don't have anything to fault. Uh, the hood's in gorgeous condition. You see the headlamps there, the covers are perfect. Uh, this truck is equipped with an 18 inch alloy wheel here. Uh, it does also have the Continental, uh, what it, Continental 4x4 contact tires, 265-60R18s on there. Uh, but take a look down the driver's side, and there's really not much to talk about on the exterior other than calling out the highlights. There's no dings, damage, dents, nothing along those lines. Same tires on the rear. But coming around back, you'll see the park sensors across the bumper, the uh, GL450 badging, also the 4MATIC, which indicates the four-wheel drive system. A dual outlet exhaust at the bottom of the bumper there, as well as a power rear hatch, which we'll show you. And then over to the passenger side. All the way down, this GL is absolutely stunning. With uh, the nifty Mercedes key, uh, I can actually pop the power hatch in the rear. You can see the third row is, is up here. Uh, they are power folding, so I can just press these buttons over here, and then they will fold each forward. But you really have a low lift in height, a ton of cargo room. Those seats up there do fold as well. And you actually have a uh, separate sunroof for the rear occupants. And then under here, you'll find the full spare with the uh, full tool assembly. Never touched. Take a look across these front seats here. Uh, leather seating, obviously, but uh, excellent condition. Uh, you do have a driver's uh, memory position for the dual power seats up front, but the step in height is not high at all. I can actually drop down into this. It is a larger truck, but the, the floor still stays low. Uh, that's one thing I think people tend to forget about these is that they really are built to be more user friendly. But uh, power tilt and telescope steering wheel once, once we're in, but uh, gorgeous high end amenities. Uh, you'll see on the door here, uh, nice wood inlay, but on the lower part there on that speaker grill, uh, you're going to find the Harman Kardon badge indicating the car's equipped with the Harman Kardon sound system. You can see the whole layout here. I mean, look at the stitching on the dash here is really just high, high, high end. The whole entire uh, cluster here. This is a relatively new car. They did come out with this for the 07 model. Um, so you're looking at the newest of Mercedes-Benz's technology, but uh, multifunction steering wheel. Uh, this gives you the ability to use the radio controls over here as well as manipulate the functions of the computer right in the center of the gauge cluster here. But super clean gauge is very simple. The visibility is fantastic. Uh, mirrors sit low, but your visibility out front is great. You can actually see the hood as it goes over. Going from the top here, you're going to find the Mercedes-Benz command system. Uh, this includes your navigation and audio system, uh, as well as a bunch of uh, vehicle settings. But you have a DVD and CD audio drive right back there, so you've got a single cassette there. And then on the right here in the glove box, you're going to find an individual six-disc CD changer that drops down. Back into the center here, you're going to find the dual zone climate control. Uh, literally set it and forget it for both of the front passengers. The rear occupants do also have ventilation as well. Uh, this small row below here is your heated seats for the front occupants. Uh, this is the uh, downhill descent uh, and uphill ascent. Uh, that's essentially a stability control program that helps you when off-roading. Uh, ESP is your stability and traction control. Over here, you're going to find a button here. This will actually raise the car. Uh, it is air suspension, so the aromatic suspension will raise it. And then here you have an override for the park distance control, which you have front and rear. Up above me here, you can find the factory power moonroof. Middle row here is more than ample. Again, I said, you know, pretty large, large truck here, but uh, I'm extraordinarily comfortable. I've got all the headroom I need. Slam this door closed here. 
even got a nice little center armrest for myself if I want to ride in luxury, but very comfy, cushy seats. And again, a really great grade of leather. Uh, pretty important, you know, for a seven passenger. Chances are you'll see some kids in here. I'm six feet tall and this car does have a third row. So I'm actually gonna take myself, throw myself back in there. Obviously pretty easy to pop that up, but I'm buckling myself in. Six footer, room to spare. Now my knees are touching the front seats if I slouch. I'd ride back here, I'm not even kidding. Behind the wheel of this uh, GL, it's extraordinarily luxurious. Steering's, uh, it's, it's pretty light. You know, you still get some feedback out of it though. I kind of like that in a truck. You don't tend to see that uh, in a truck, but uh, very, very smooth ride. Very comfortable. The acceleration's seamless. You got a seven speed automatic that makes it just buttery smooth. And you'll see we're about to approach a couple speed bumps here, but uh, just to give you an idea of how forgiving this suspension is, it's got a really, really soft ride to it. But, uh, I mean, listen, there's no body creaks, nothing. You know, it's just these cars are so Mercedes Benz solid. And I'll hit this one kind of quick. Once again, literally, we hit those pretty good there. But uh, nice power. Not a terribly large V8, but 335 horsepower is no slouch. You know, definitely makes uh, enough power to get you around town and more than enough to still feel uh, that you have acceleration when you pack this with seven adults. Uh, cruising along here on the highway and we're going uh, about a steady 65 and I am uh, living room comfortable in this car. I mean this is Lexus type of comfort. I mean even more so than you'd find in the old body S500. Um, very very effortless driving. Uh, but the car does have uh, a nice amount of pickup. And a nice muted V8 sound. I mean you really do actually get a V8 sound in this, uh, you know with this 4.7 liter. And with the seven speed, I mean, it really does pair the right ratio with whatever your mood is. So if you really want to hustle, it'll put the power all the way down, but super smooth. You can't feel it shift. Uh, the alignment's dead straight. I mean, I can't stress how comfy it is. And maybe the quiet in here will tell you a little something because uh, we're moving along and uh, I am very, very comfortable and it's extremely quiet here. Well that verified it. I have not driven one of these in a while and uh, definitely the cushiest, most comfy big sport utility out there. Uh, my wife and I only have one child but I will tell you when we go to the three, which hopefully if that day comes, this will likely be the vehicle of choice. And if that came tomorrow, this would be the vehicle of choice. But uh, I do have a copy of the Carfax history report as well as the Auto Check vehicle history report. Both are uniform. Uh, it's a one owner car, a couple service history entries, but uh, other than that there's really no much more to disclose. Um, also, the Mercedes-Benz factory warranty runs through August 2010 or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. But check this thing out online. You'll find it on our website at chicagocarsdirect.com where you'll find 60 pictures of this car. Also, check us out on YouTube. You'll find our entire highlight reel on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for having some fun with us. We'll see you again next time.